So, hi! In today's video, I'm going to show you this drawing I made at the beginning of this year. It's my favorite so far, so yeah. Also, before actually getting started, if you will actually speak Spanish, I made a time-lapse video of this same drawing in my main channel. I give advice on how I plan my color palette or and how I choose and mix my watercolors, so you should go check it out if you're interested. Um, anyway, <laughs> I won't give those kind of tips in this video because I don't feel confident enough in English. I I don't think I can explain myself the way I would love to. So I'm just gonna talk about the drawing and you know stuff in general. As you can see, I'm using the Sakura Color 20 no <laughs> 48 watercolor set. Um, they sent this to me, but no, this is not a sponsored video. I mean, how could it be? I have, I mean, less than 10 subscribers here, but I'm still going to talk a little bit about it. Um, I actually have the 24 watercolor set that I bought myself, and I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna use the, the 48 set yet because I have the 24 set, blah, 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 but then after swatching the colors i fell in love with the indigo color and i knew i just i knew i had to draw something with it so here we are the indigo is the start of this drawing i used it everywhere i mean it makes sense since i <laughs> i only used three colors for this piece I knew I wanted indigo to be in the shadows specifically because I wanted cool shadows, cool tones in general. I love everything with a shade of blue. And so far the only bad thing about these watercolors is that you can't take out the pens to, I don't know, put them in another set or whatever. I mean, if I want to travel. I can just take the indigo and put it in my 24 watercolor set, so that actually sucks. And yeah, yeah, I know these aren't artist quality watercolors, but I never used artist quality watercolors before, so this worked just fine for me. If you don't know, well, I'm from Venezuela and our situation sucks right now and has been sucking for the last few years. So, of course, it's hard for me to get my hands on fancy art supplies. Um, I do my best with what I can get. I mean, even what I already have was really hard for me to get, so yeah. About this drawing, I used this Mexican model called Ruby Vizcarra as a reference. She's an Alvino model and she's beautiful. I actually found her through a subscriber that sent me her photo through an Instagram message telling me how her pictures are very similar to what I love to draw and actually they are. I mean, I'm drawing her right now. Well, I drew her a few weeks ago <laughs> she's an albino model and i love drawing portraits and flowers and everything cool tone and the fact that she has really really light hair and white eyelashes and eyebrows it's perfect for me anyway i guess that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i hope you like the drawing and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and leave a like i will really 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 appreciate it you can follow me on instagram and facebook to check out the rest of my work i'm Rosalyn estefania everywhere commissions are open and there's also merch of my artwork in my red bubble and society six so yeah i guess that's all <laughs> i'll see you next week bye